everyone this is shahlan it is 5:27 in the morning and i decided to vlog again and exams are starting so i thought i'll take a little bit break in between but good morning i already told that so it is 6 o'clock and usually i start with biomechanics because I don't know. I start with biomechanics. I finish one chapter, half an hour or so. I finish, and yeah. So we'll see in doing that. Hey, assalamualaikum. So I just finished studying biomechanics. Two chapter khatam kar diye. It is eight fifteen now. So it's a Sunday. So. एंड दिस क्रिकेट अकेडमी और यहाँ पे पिम्पल आ गया है बेहुदा सा पिम्पल तो आई गो डाउन आई एल फिनिश माई अकेडमी प्रैक्टिस ऑल्सो द अकेडमी इज ओन्ड बाई माई डैड सो हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ इट ऑल्सो सो जाके थोड़ा सा करके आ जाते हैं वापस देन आई सी हाउ आई स्टडी बायो मैकेनिक्स माई वे all fogged up and it's extremely cold for bangalore weather so this is how uh, what my dad says what my dad tells is that uh, this is how bangalore weather looked 30 uh, 30 years back so that kind of weather is coming back i hope it stays like this and yeah it's pretty chill the weather is chill we are chill apart from the thing that exams are there that's not chill yeah hey guys so as you know the video is about how i study a biomechanics chapter so i'll show you how i start a chapter with because biomechanics if you people are seeing and if you want to know how or if you seen the video on how to learn biomechanics i'm pretty sure you know that biomechanics has first three basic chapters which are the most important one and if you understand those first three basic chapters that is about the general joint structure and function so joint structure and function the found, uh, fundamental uh, foundational concepts uh so in that section there's three chapters first one is biomechanical applications complexity complexity of human joint design and muscle structure and function so those three chapters are very important so if you understand those first three chapters it's very easy for you to understand the rest of the chapter uh, rest of the book so i suggest you to thoroughly 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 read all uh, first three chapters okay so after you finish first three chapters i'll say you how to go on with the next sections that is the axial joint i mean the whole complete body biomechanic so first i'll show you i'll take an example of any any chapter so let's take the dun 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 let's take elbow complex okay so that is a pretty simple chapter and uh, i'll show you how we can just it see these books i um uh, i agree with you that medical books are not the easiest ones to read and biomechanics <coughs> sorry biomechanics is also not the easiest one to just look up and yeah it's not a rhymes book you have to literally understand the contents in that chapter so that is a most important thing we have to do is understand what's in the chapter so if you know what's in the chapter then you're going to try to understand what's in the chapter if you don't know what's there already and then you start studying from point first sentence you are literally heading nowhere so i'll show you how my biomechanics books looks and then i'll show you how you can study so let's shift to the other focus 
okay so here we are this is the contents in brief so the three chapters which i was saying are most important are these the first chapter the second chapter and the third chapter okay so these are the very important uh, basics because if you don't learn these these are learning these is a waste and um, you honestly you wouldn't understand also if you don't learn these three so today morning which i was saying was i studied all these three chapters and now i'm all set to start biomechanics so whenever i start studying the biomechanics i make sure that i give a glance to these three subjects uh, i mean sorry three chapters so one two three those are done so i was saying about the elbow complex so let's open elbow complex okay elbow complex and here is where you understand the whole freaking chapter so let me bring this into focus very nice very nice okay so yeah so as you can see this is the elbow complex first page so anatomy overview is there so about the elbow obviously and the muscles which are related to elbow joint my major thing before starting a chapter is this part so if you understand this it's literally the whole chapter so if you understand this you will understand what's in the chapter and you'll understand how to go through the chapter and you'll understand what's coming next on the chapter and usually it's not much confusing it's just the so the first part here is structure and function of the humero ulnar and humero radial articulations so basically it's anatomy so from here structure joint cap articulation joint capsules so till 245 it's anatomy and also a little bit anatomy is here also function so flexion extension pronation supination so the so this is what is there so if you start seeing structure so first will be proximal joint surfaces distal joint surfaces done ligaments and muscles so this is anatomy surface anatomy next structure and function of the proximal and distal radio ulnar sorry it's not surface it's anatomy radio ulnar articulation so now the function which you learned here is gonna just be elaborated here with biomechanics so proximal radio ulnar joint different functions okay so these are all structure and function so there's structure and there's also function okay so that is done and the stability so if you understand this anatomy part then starts with anatomy and a biomechanics part here so, and then mobility and stability of the elbow complex so this is nothing but functional activities and relation to the hand and wrist so whatever you learned you're putting into clinical concentrations and this is what is the other chapter uh, other part of the chapter lifespan and clinical considerations is here so ossification centers effects of gender effects of age injury so compression injuries distraction various valgus injuries and you know so on and so forth so this is the chapter so first uh, anatomy is important so i go through the anatomy overview uh, so i go through this yeah so i go through anatomy this okay so it's pretty uh useful if you go through the anatomy uh part okay this is very color color uh thanks to my creative brain <laughs> so uh, yeah this was when uh this is when i started the chapter and i had to mark each and everything so yeah whatever the important lines are there i read through and i marked so now it's um, easy for me to just go through and be like okay 
they provide mobility for the hand in space by shortening and lengthening the upper extremity okay nice so rotation of the elbow complex provides additional mobility for the hand so that rotation is supination and pronation so yeah so you get the gist right so i what i do is i one second yeah glance so whatever i studied here this is a glance so there's ligaments there's joint articulation for proximal that is trochlea capitulum and head of radius trochlea notch and the ligaments mcl and lcl or ucl and rcl so it's just the same thing names so yeah you can see a mount here so basically this is how i start my chapter and trust me if you do this if you study the chapter in the content page you will is that chapter it's just your start should be right your starts right to a chapter you can just flow through the chapter like it's it's butter i mean you have to preheat the butter so in order to melt it easily you need to little preheat butter exactly that's that's what you're doing when you're going through this you're preheating the butter you're preheating the chapter in your mind and then it's easy to just go through you know so that is how i study biomechanics yes so that is how i study biomechanics so yeah join structure and function okay so these marks are just you know uh hold on i can't read from there but it is the sectioning so human joint is there and then yeah here these are the structuring so fund foundational concepts then the axial skeleton then we have upper extremity lower extremity and integrated function integrated function is nothing but gait and posture so yeah if you finish all the things and then gait and posture it's easy peasy let's go see so yeah that is how i study my biomechanics guys i hope you i hope it helped you a little bit because i'll try putting it in points but it's a bit difficult so i need you to hear it so yeah i should have said that in the video before but it's fine you still here you guys love me and i love you guys and that's why i'm making videos i'm in exams so yeah joint structure and function i hope you guys like the video and i hope you study biomechanics and hope you ace the exams so all the best to you all the best to me all the best to future me if you're seeing this and yeah don't forget to like the video guys share it with your friends share it with your medical friends share it with your classmates share it in your group and yeah subscribe to shahulayam vlogs and also there's here in the description i mean in the i button here somewhere there are the daily vlogs and also another i button where i have uploaded the subjects for first year so you can refer their first year and also in the i button there are most of the video selections so you can go there or simply click on the channel button and go scroll through the videos so that's it for today guys i hope you guys like the video like share and subscribe again and keep watching shaolin vlogs until then bye bye